it's actually Tuesday morning now. Uh, not sure how many videos y'all seen up to this point. Got kind of lost in time, I guess you'd say, with videos and stuff. But anyway, we're going to be back on track trying to get regular videos out again. Uh, fixing to jump down and do some greasing on the 853. Yeah, pretty interesting day yesterday, I guess you'd say. Most special day before that. Yesterday was Memorial Day. The uh, day before that was, of course, Sunday before Memorial Day. And went racing. Got some video of that. Um, that might actually be in a clip or two of that in this video. I'm not sure. But uh, y'all hang out. We're going to be right back. We got some real exciting stuff hopefully coming up today. We'll try and get some good footage of everything working throughout the day. And uh, y'all just hang on. Here we go. Sit here and let y'all watch the last truck of the afternoon get loaded. It's uh, this is Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Weekend had me all screwed up. That's number 10 being loaded. Well, I actually got a decent little wood pile out. And there's by the time we get done loading this truck, there'll probably still be two out, which isn't you know spectacular. But it's, uh, man, this is some bad stuff. It's taken about 300 stems to load a truck. It's been a long time since I cut stuff that was just consistently bad. You know, you'll, you'll get patches of bad stuff all the time. But something that's this consistently bad, it's been a long time since I've had to cut something this bad. But... Ease what it is. So we'll let y'all watch here. Watch the old Matt and the 234. Load the last load. Work trucks over there filling up the other loader. Getting ready to call her a day and go home. And it's a little after four now. We usually try to be, you know, filled up and on the road about 4. 4 to 4.30 we try to be on the road. Some days you can, some days you can't. A little pop-up showers around. And it is trying to rain on me right now, which is not good because I don't think this camera is waterproof. <laughs> See the 620 running around over there. Just dropped the drag off, getting some trash, towed it off. Not gonna be a whole bunch in this video. Uh, it takes, uh, I run all day long on the track cutter. I got a guy, I normally try and pull him off somewhere around 11. Some, you know, somewhere between 11 and 12 o'clock in the morning, I'll pull him off the cutter and put him on the skitter and let him help the rest of the day there. But it's this stuff here is so bad, I've been having to let him cut to about 2 o'clock with me to where we can get our 12 processed. 12 cut, it, all of it isn't getting processed. It's, it's some bad stuff, man. Such a cute little cross piece he's gonna use. So we'll have to load the truck like this with the butts out the back. Uh, I think somebody the other day was calling it inverted, I'm not sure. But we just call it butts out the back. We'll put about, I think they're putting about 32,000 on the back. And then they'll finish filling it up on the front with the butts ahead like you're fixing to see him do. Summertime is definitely here, y'all. I love summertime. Boy, it is muggy. Oh my God, it's muggy.
Should have brought my tripod with me. Could have set y'all up on my tripod so I wouldn't have to keep holding you. My arm's going to go to sleep. <laughs> You just gotta take a little more time when you're loading this small stuff. Anybody who's worked in this small stuff knows you just, it's, if you try and rush this mess, it will blow up with you. You'll have a bug old mess. Bug old mess. So before anybody asks, what are the blinking lights on the back of the truck for? Those are for insurance purposes, mostly. They're supposed to be able to make the trailer more visible in daylight conditions and, you know, dark conditions. I can't tell you that they're more, people will be trying to look at them like, what in the world is that in front of me? Instead of going, oh, hey, that's a log truck. But they give us a pretty significant break on the insurance to put them on there, so there they are. This is this all this truck. This is one of our other trucks that we have. This is our newest. This is our Kenworth that y'all have seen before in some videos. It's got the black stripes down the side of it. It is not a glider truck. It is a regular, you know, off the showroom floor truck, so to speak. It has all the def and everything else on it. I believe this one is a 19 model. He may have got an 18 lot, you know, it's not a lot model. It was a special order because of the paint job and everything on it, but I can't tell y'all if this is a 19 or an 18, but it's, I'm pretty positive we bought it in, uh, it had been right about the end of 18, so middle of 18, something like that. So yeah, but it, it is the newest for now. There is another new one on the way to we're replacing. I'm not sure if I've ever got any video of the uh, it's an international truck that we have. It is the oldest, and it is time for it to be replaced. We keep our trucks on a lease program to where every five years we just we get rid of them. That's the best way to do it. Keeping drivers on them and everything like that. You, you always keep your truck under warranty and you're not out a whole bunch of money. With repair cost, it's easier to maintain the truck inside of things with newer trucks. So. Time for the international to leave here. 
it'll be replaced with another Kenworth. It'll be a, a solid white W900 from my understanding. Definitely try and get some video of that whenever it gets to the house. Because they usually drop it off at the house. And then we have to go get their names and everything put on the doors. And scale permits and everything else. Get it legal to haul. So we'll, uh, we also had a, I guess you say, a dramatic moment today, which we thought it happened over the weekend, but I guess it was just a prequel. <laughs> uh, our green contract truck that y'all have seen, I'm, uh, y'all have seen several video clips of him out here. The, the green Peterbilt that hauls off my job, he's a contract truck. His motor expired today. Uh, it has to be overhauled. Uh, he's out for sure the rest of this week and probably all of next week. So that sucks for us. But at least he's able to get it fixed and we'll be we'll be able to uh get him back going here soon we'll have plenty of help though to kind of cover our you know cover our loads so we won't necessarily be missing any loads it's just we won't be getting any extra so to speak do have some different stuff coming up soon tomorrow we should be cleaning this set that you see here up this track is a total of I think 171 acres there was 33 on this set that we're setting in here. By the time you factor in that other sliver over there, probably 45-ish. I'm going to be cut to this set. This side of the road goes as well, but as y'all can see, this stuff is horrible. Horrible. Way worse than this side. So we have politely declined that side of the road, and we won't be cutting it for a while, according to my Forester probably another four or five years honestly that over there needs to be clear cut right now and replanted and started over and it's just a stand that didn't grow grow well anyway but whenever we finish this set that I'm in we're gonna pull off of this track because it's pretty good ground we're starting to kind of dry up you know you're getting your long summer days now and We've had a week and a half of no rain and 90 degree days. Sun angles up high in the sky, so the ground is drying exceptionally fast. We had some severe weather come through our area a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks ago now. And it had some tornadoes in it and a track of, it's getting close to clear cut time for it nice stuff had a tornado a little small ef0 tornado run through it and tear down i'm gonna say there's there's 15 15 maybe 20 acres of it that got completely blowed down and then there's probably another five to ten acres that's got a bunch of leaning stuff in it that they're probably going to let us clear cut but either way we have to go over there and salvage what's on the ground for sure so that, that'll be something kind of different than what we're used to. Should be some good video content for y'all. Hopefully my new batch of GoPros that I've got ordered will be here by the end and I can have some GoPros in the machine, several machines so we can have several angles of how the work is going and everything. Looks like He's gonna call that good, I think. Yep. All right, well, he's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Go over there and help him try and fill this work truck, I mean, this other loader up. And we'll be back tomorrow. Catch y'all later.